The Sunshine Tour is always grateful for opportunities to visit the Royal Swazi Spa. This week we continue our conversation with a man who's relishing being back here as a tour member once again. And gratitude is genuinely the meaning of Taboho Safatsa's first name. I enjoy that event, you know, it's a, it's, it's a gem of a place, you know, it's a, it's a very short golf course but very tricky. You can hit it good all day there and not score if you don't putt well. So I enjoy the challenge, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a course where you expect to be under par all day, whole day. So I, I really enjoy it and, uh, and especially with the kind of performance that we play, it allows guys to be quite aggressive. Yes, a modified Stableford scoring system is in use, a different emphasis to stroke play. Points win prizes at the Investec Royal Swazi Open. Investec has been a stalwart for us. You know, they've been supporting the tour, they've been supporting the professionals, they've, they sponsor quite a few professionals. So it's great to have a company like that on, on board with the Sunshine Tour. I, I mean, it's not just golf alone. They do a lot for Super Rugby, Premier League teams. So it's a great company to be associated with. Tabuho is obviously very pleased to be back in elite company after some barren years. And the Vusi and Gabeni Q School champion feels the things he's been working on in practice, the drills and visualizations, are paying off. Pretty much just to be tighter, have a bit more control in my game, hit my irons uh, pretty much the same distance or a yardage that I pick, and to be able to control my ball flight. That's what I've been working on. It requires dedication, of course and plenty of repetition to fine-tune routines. When I work on drills, my drills is pretty much, like I said, uh, it's, it's ball control. You know what I mean? It's to be able to hit my yardages all the time. Um, and that's being able to control ball flight. So that's been my drills, just to be able to work on my ball flight, hitting my numbers uh, 9 out of 10 times, and that's about it. My mental approach is great. You know, I've started working with Marietta Klassen, so she's helped me to get over the hurdle. So she's helped me very, very well. I stay more patient with myself, I'm more into the game. I give myself positive affirmations all the time, irrespective of how I'm playing. So yeah, mentally I think I'm sound. The 34-year-old will have a look at the more significant statistics too, to help preserve that sanity. Stats can provide a target, something attainable in improving one's game. For me at the moment, look, I guess I'm not 21 anymore, uh, so the par fives give me a particular distance which is between 200 and 225. So for me it's to actually get better from that distance to make more birdies. And even if when I miss the greens, to be able to up and down or miss it in the correct places. So that's, that's the important stat for me and obviously there's always the short game, wedge play and the putting. There's never only one thing. Away from the minutiae, the wider picture for improvement is setting goals for the season so as not to return to Q school. It's a fresh start, you know, so I'll take it baby steps. We'll go first secure the, the tour cup, playing rights for next year, then trying to achieve an exemption, be top 50 or not order of merit. And then from there we try and win golf events. We'll keep it simple for now and uh, just create confidence. He doesn't appear to be short of self-confidence as he looks to bridge the gap back to his old tournament winning standards.